What's happening, motherfuckers? I've been asked to give a kind of general guide on how to play Devil May Cry, how to achieve stylish combos and so forth. Now, I'm not uh, an expert by any means, but I've been asked to do this, so I'm going to give the best advice that I can. Um, the number one thing is to not get hit. I know it might sound obvious, but if you if you are playing and you just consistently get hit, then your uh, style meter is going to drop and you aren't going to achieve anything. So, uh, number one way to do this is to evade, which is the main way you can do this is by jumping. It's all very well just jumping randomly, but that's no good because you can get hit whilst you you're in the air if you time it wrong, uh, and also you can be screwed if you're in the middle of a move which can't be cancelled. You'll find a lot of the heavier moves can't be cancelled. So then it, a lot of it comes down to using those moves safely. You can't just throw them out whenever you want. You have to throw them when you know you've got enough time to do them. Once you learn your own moves, it's time to learn the enemy moves, uh, of which obviously there's, there's a lot. Each enemy makes a noise before they do anything and they have a little wind-up animation but the most important thing is the noise because they can start their attack off screen from behind you or just far away so you want to you want to be sort of subliminally aware of what's coming and what it is uh, a lot of them have got like a little sort of chuckle a little sort of laugh before they do anything uh, or just a, a sort of a shriek and things like that now I can't go through every single one of those it would just take me too long but that is that is you know really the key to staying safe is you're fighting but as you're fighting you're listening out for what they're doing now besides just jumping out of the way and rolling out of the way you can intercept their attacks and um, this involves learning the properties of your moves some moves will just stop their attacks dead and some moves will even knock enemies away some enemy attacks are like a tank you know they just go through you no matter what and again you have to land what's what and when when you have to jump and when you can stop them in their tracks okay so that's all about staying safe and that's that's sort of 90 percent of it really because if you can stay safe then no matter what you're doing you at least your star, star meter should be going up but in order to keep it going up you have to switch your attacks if you just keep using the same attack over and over again then your star meter uh, disappears Taunting is absolutely necessary, you know, you'll, you'll find it so much easier to, to get up the ranks if you're taunting, but I would say, obviously, be careful when you taunt. Mainly taunt when enemies aren't, aren't so near you. You can even taunt just after killing an enemy, which is good, but if you if you knock an enemy away and there's nothing you can do for, you know, for a second or so, just use the taunt and then close the ground. Fourth. Uh, attacks which require charging, charge them up and continue fighting with other buttons. Because if you just stand there charging up, then obviously the star meter is dropping. When you're fighting enemies, try and hit as many enemies at, at once because each attack is worth so much style, but that's multiplied if you hit more than one enemy. So if it, if it would give you half many star points, hitting two enemies would give you twice as much, hitting three would give you three times as much. And in terms of Maintain style, the number one thing is don't stop, never just stand there because that, that's going to make your style meter drop. Right, I'm going to go through each fighting style and weapon and kind of give a little bit of advice for each. Now the trickster is the most offensive um, style as far as I'm concerned. It allows you to get out of the way, but then it allows you to get back into the action again, which is good. So you can use the air dodge to just clear right out. If anything's going on, you don't want anything to hit you, you can just clear right out and uh, gets you a lot of distance. But then the teleport is great because you just go bang, I'm in your face again no matter what. Royal Guard might seem like a defensive um, style, but actually you have to be very, very offensive to get it to work because you have to stand there and wait for attacks to hit you, which is seems really counterintuitive when you're used to any other style. So when an attack's coming at you, your instinct will be to jump out of the way or dodge. But Royal Guard, you have to stand there and then time the, um, the guard with the attack, which is very hard. It's a very difficult um, style to use, and most, most people don't use it. But if you can use it, then it means that no matter what's coming at you, you can just cancel whatever you're doing into the guard 
so it does become very very useful and you are rewarded with a hell of a lot of style if you do time the, the gun properly so Swordmaster is a, is a very offensive um, style because all of the moves tend to be close range you do get a couple of longer range attacks but they're mainly close range and they just give you the extra variety of attacks to use so that means that you're not um, stuck for how to go up the style. Also a lot of the moves tend to give you more style um, and I'll go into those moves when I talk about individual weapons but they, it's, a, it's a stylish um, style to use. Gunslinger is very defensive because you can be at range and use these um, different style, different moves to earn style but you're not up close so it is quite an easy one to use. They don't earn you so much damage but uh, you know, you don't have to worry so much about getting hit. I find it very useful personally because, you know, you can jump up in the air, you're shooting and then you can use a number of different attacks from from the air, you know, and you're staying safe and your style's still going up, you know we're near the enemies, which is different to the Swordmaster where, although you've got more options, you still have to be right in their face. Quicksilver is very useful in all sorts of ways. I mean, you might not think about it, but when you have an incoming attack, you can quickly turn that on pretty much no matter what you're doing. And then you can avoid the incoming attack just by walking around the enemy and then hitting them in the back. So it's a great way to stay safe. It's, it can be used defensively like that, but it also can be used to create opportunities which you wouldn't normally have. So you can slow an enemy down and then run in and start to, to do a move which would normally take you all day to get out like the... Um, that big uppercut with Beowulf and that the rapid punch attack with Beowulf and some other moves um, like those, that rapid slash attack with Agni and Rudra things which normally take a while and, and it's not easy to get them out with Quicksilver you just create that opportunity whenever you want okay the weapons Rebellion um, the main source of of style from that is the, is the rapid um, stab, I can't remember what that's called, the million stab thing. You, know, you can do that from the stinger and you can do it from his combo too with the delay and if you if you rapidly press it you can sit there for ages, very good against multiple enemies, just pins them in place and you just go up and up and up in the style especially if you can get to the final hit uh, and also once you're in Swordmaster it's easy to stay in the air with that and you can jump cancel that um, the aerial rave thing and also he's got that sort of lengthy combo that um, I believe is back and circle uh, in Devil May Cry 3 where he goes into that dance macabre however, whatever, it's, whatever it is and he hits them a bunch of times that's another way to get style once you get into that um, thing where he's swinging around his sword you get tons and tons of style if you can get that far Cerberus um, I don't, it is fairly hard to use and it's not, it doesn't seem that great for style but the, um, the combo 2 is very good for style if you can get it to work where he sends the nunchucks around himself but the thing is that each, every time that would hit an enemy it knocks them away but if you can get them in a corner or against the wall you can actually hit them like three times with that last hit and your style will just go through the roof if you can do that and again if you can get two or three enemies hit with that, bang, you know, that is incredibly good. With Swordmaster, you suddenly earn uh, the ability to stay in the air much easier because you can go between your normal hit and the um, and the Swordmaster hit without having to jump cancel if you find jump cancelling hard. But the normal air hit um, can, with triangle can be jump cancelled time and time again. If you, if you can get the hang of that, it's very useful because it doesn't send the enemy flying. You also have that um, thing where he makes that forward and, and circle where he makes the ice come out of the ground and that's such a wide area attack again, very good for style. Nevin is very hard to use um, successfully, especially when you don't have Swordmaster, but it, if you hold the button down with a lot of the attacks, it charges up the bats and electricity, so if you jump in the air and hold the button, then it charges up and then um, he releases more electricity in bats than he would if you just tapped it and when you, when they come out you can then use your gun whatever that may be to add to the damage and those bats 
and electricity generally stop the enemy from doing whatever they're doing. So it's good, it is a very good ranged weapon when you think about it like that. It can seem like you're helpless because you just sat there pinned to the spot playing it. But then as soon as you let go the bats come out and like I say that stops enemies doing what they're doing. Pressing right and attack with him, with Nevin, makes a kind of uh, um, sort of a wide area knockback uh, attack which is useful for staying safe. If you're worried about getting hit, you can quickly do that and it knocks everybody away. It's a bit slower and there's a delay afterwards but it is useful for knocking people away. Uh, here's obviously that big move with left and attack. That, that gets hold of everybody in the area and gives you tons of, of style but doesn't really do much damage and you have to be sure that you're safe to do it because again you're just completely open if anyone can hit you in the back or if, uh, if they hit you just as you start doing it and also when you finish if, you're, if you don't cancel out of it then you're vulnerable at the end of that attack uh, and then the swordmaster attack <laughs> the normal scythe attacks are quite slow but there's that one spinning attack which is just brilliant and I recommend that for getting style points Agni and Rudra uh, jumping in the air with those gives, gets you a, a very quick knock away attack which is handy to clear people out of the way and in Swordmaster just press and circle it, it's the same sort of attack but on the ground and that again is instantly everyone get the fuck out of here and it's got quite a wide, a wide range and it keeps you safe uh, and it's got that it's got that combo, I believe it's two again, I'm not sure, where it's got a delay and then he goes into that flurry attack. That's quite hard to get out because of the delay necessary and you're wide open if you get hit in the back, but if you can hurt enemies, that just sends your star through the roof. Uh, and then once you install uh, Swordmaster, you've got that aerial rave attack with that which can be jump cancelled very easily and switched between other um, attacks. It's a good way to stay in the air and stay safe. Beowulf uh, is mainly a damage dealing thing, but uh, once you're in Swordmaster, it's got that big uppercut which is back in circle. Now that just gives you stupid amounts of, of style, but you have to be careful about when you use it. One of the best ways to do it is to launch with another attack, either just the uppercut with that or an uppercut with another weapon, and then use the big uppercut because the enemy um, typically will just go in the air and then hit the deck and lay down but the super uppercut will hit them even if they are on the ground so that's the best way to line that up if you try and hit that on an enemy who's moving about you're most likely going to get hit so just wait until you've hit them with something else first uh, Fireball's actually pretty good with uh, with, um, with Beowulf I think it's easy to forget that you've got those but they're a good thing to add to your ranged attacks they can do quite a bit of damage and they can stop enemies in the track so I'd remember that and the, um, the move where he hits the ground forward and, and circle is a good um, way to deal with enemies all around you again that knocks, there's a wide area attack and knocks them away but it, you do have to pick your timing with that you, will, you are slightly vulnerable as you do it but if you time it right then you can hit a wide sort of area of enemies get a lot of style, stay safe Artemis is the most complex of the, of the lot because it's got these charge moves in and you can do so many cool things with it. This, the best one is with Gunslinger, so you're holding down circle whilst you're doing other things. And then you can let go and it, it shoots out a bunch of um, projectiles which then home in on a single target. So what that means is you can be holding circle, then you can uppercut somebody, let go of that, switch to your other gun, and so then they're getting held in the air by the homing attacks from Artemis and then you can hit them with whatever else you want as well, typically ebony and ivory or you can jump over them and hit them with the um, with the rainstorm whilst they're being held by the Artemis attacks or you can hit them with Nevin or you can even hit them with the swords, you know it's just a, it's such a great attack because you're getting all that extra damage on top of what else you're doing but the key is to be able to charge the hold down circle whilst you're doing something else which is a bit tricky. Well I hope that was of some use to you. If there's anything else I can help you with please let me know.